All right, in this problem, I'm given a vector field V of X, Y, and Z, and a parametrized surface M given by R of U and V. And the multi-part question, the first part asked me to sketch that surface M. So I've got this parametrization with U and V, and to draw it, I'm gonna think about U being like X and V being like Y. So I get the equation Z equals four minus X squared minus Y squared, which is a downward parabola. So let's go ahead and draw it. So, you know, kind of goes down like that. And then I'm given bounds for u and v. u goes from 0 to 1, v goes from 0 to 2. So the projection into the xy, or uv plane, if you will, is going to be a little rectangle. Which means that... I'm looking at that little section right there. So almost a rectangular prism, but then it has kind of like a droopy parabola-ish top. So this is my best attempt at drawing M. And then the second part of the question asked me to calculate the rate in meters cubed per second at which fluid is flowing through M. So to do that, I need a flux integral. And let's kind of write down the general form of that. Come on. It's a double integral with respect to u and v, and it is a dot product of the vector field evaluated over the surface, so v of r, dotted with the cross product of the partial derivatives of r, so ru cross rv. All right, so I have two components that I need to find before I can evaluate this integral. And let's look at the first one, v of r. So that means everywhere I see an x and v, plug in the i component of r. Everywhere I see a y, plug in the j component. z, plug in the k component. So for the first component of v, I've got 2v, the variable, not the vector field, and then for the second component, I have x, z, which is like u times 4 minus u squared minus v squared. I'm going to go ahead and multiply that out. And then for the third component, I've got negative x, which is just negative u. Okay, now I need to find ru cross rv. Well, before I can do that, I need to find ru and rv. So let's start with R u. I want to take the partial derivative with respect to u of each component in R. So the partial derivative of u with respect to u is just going to be 1. The partial derivative with respect to v is going to be 0, because v is treated like a constant. And the partial derivative of 4 minus u squared minus v squared is going to be negative 2u. Now let's do R v. So the partial derivative of u is going to be 0, because u is treated like a constant. Partial derivative of v is going to be 1. And the partial derivative of the third component is going to be negative 2v. And now to find their cross products, I'm going to use a 3 by 3 matrix and cofactor expansion. So the first row of the matrix is going to be the vector components i, j, and k. The second row is going to be r sub u, and the third row is going to be r sub v. All right, so to find the i component of this vector, well, that's our cross product, I'm going to cut the top row and cut the column that i is in, and I have a 2 by 2 matrix here that I want to find its determinant of. So let's multiply along the main diagonal and get 0, and then subtract negative 2u. So I've got 2u for my i component. And then for j, I'm going to still cut the top row, but now instead cut the middle column. 
So I have a two by two matrix, one, negative two, zero, two V, and that's what I'm gonna take the determinant of. So I have negative two V minus zero, and then alternating signs, so that becomes two V. And then for K, I have the determinant of this two by two matrix here, which is just gonna be one. So now, I wanna find the dot product of this vector, that's our cross product, with v of r of u and v. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got 2v times 2u, so 4uv. And then 2v times 4u minus u cubed minus uv squared. So I'm just gonna multiply that out. So we've got 8uv. So I've got 8uv minus 2u cubed v minus 2uv cubed. And then for the last component, I have negative u times 1, which is just minus u. And let's combine some terms. 4uv plus 8uv is going to be 12uv. And now I'm ready to integrate this over u and v, which is 0 to 1 and 0 to 2 respectively. I'm going to move over to the other board to complete that integral. So, just set everything up, and now let's integrate with respect to u. So 12uv becomes 6u squared v. And 2u cubed v becomes 1 half u to the fourth v. And 2uv cubed becomes u squared v cubed. And a negative u becomes negative 1 half u squared. And I want to evaluate that from u equals 0 to u equals 1. Let's go ahead and plug in a 1 everywhere I see a u. All right. So I've got 6v minus 1 half v minus v cubed minus 1 half. And now let's plug in u equals 0. So each term has a factor of u, so when you plug in 0, I'm just going to get 0. Now let's combine things a little bit before I integrate with respect to v. I have 6v minus 1 half v, which I can rewrite to be 11 halves v. And that's all the combining I can do, so let's go ahead and integrate. 11 halves v becomes 11 fourths v squared. And v cubed becomes 1 fourth v to the fourth. And 1 half becomes 1 half v. I'm going to evaluate from v equals 0 to v equals 2. So let's go ahead and plug in a 2 everywhere I see a v. So first off, I have 11 fourths times 4, which is just 11, minus 1 fourth times 16, which is just 4, minus 1 half times 2, which is just minus 1. And then let's plug in v equals 0. Well, each of these terms has a factor of v, so when I plug in 0, they're all going to be 0. So this is what I've got, 11 minus 5, which gives me 6. And via the directions in the problem, I'm going to say that's in meters cubed per second. So fluid is flowing through our surface M at a rate of 6 meters cubed per second. 